The girl grew up next to gorillas who were then released into the jungle. Twelve years later, the girl decided to find these gorillas in the jungle. And then something shocking happened. One foggy spring day in Howlett's Wild Animal Park in England, Tansy Aspinall woke up to the loud sounds of birds and the fresh scent of morning air. The only daughter of Damien Aspinall, a renowned environmentalist, Tansy had spent her childhood surrounded by wild animals that most people only saw in zoos or on TV. From an early age, Tansy was surrounded by gorillas living in the reserve. These were sick or injured animals and orphaned cubs who needed care. After recovery and rehabilitation, Damien aimed to release all wild animals back into the wild. He also believed that building bonds between humans and animals from an early age could foster a new generation of passionate conservationists. Thus, to western lowland gorillas, Jalta and Bims became Tansy's constant companions. These imposing creatures, despite their size and strength, were gentle and caring when it came to little Tansy. She even learned to walk under Jalta's watchful eye, who would lend a hand to help her keep her balance. Bims was her playmate, and they often ran around together, filling the air with laughter and joyful cries. This harmonious coexistence was possible under the careful supervision of the reserve staff and Damien himself, who filmed the interactions between his daughter and the gorillas to show that wild animals can be completely safe if treated with care and kindness. For her fifth birthday, Tansy received a necklace with a gorilla-shaped pendant from her father, symbolizing her deep bond with her furry friends and her commitment to conservation. On that day, Damien told her, You are a bridge between our worlds. The gorillas accept you as one of their own. And this is both a precious gift and a great responsibility. These early years of Tansy's life were filled with profound meaning and immense love for the animals. She grew up knowing that every moment with Jalta and Bims was an important lesson in life, teaching her respect, care, and the interconnectedness of all beings on our planet. However, one day Tansy had to face the sad reality of parting with her gorilla friends. They needed to return to the wild, join their kind, and help preserve their species. This farewell was one of the most challenging and dramatic moments in her life. As Tansy grew older, she began to understand the complexity of her father's work and the important goals of the conservation foundation he led. She knew that the days of playing with Jalta and Bims would not last forever, and that they were representatives of their species who belonged in the jungle. Tansy was 11 when she overheard long discussions among conservationists, biologists, and her father. They were preparing Jalta and Bims for release back into the wild and discussing all the details. For Tansy, although she was proud of the significant role her friends would play in preserving their species, the news was very sad. On the day of the transportation, the reserve was bustling with activity. Transport crates were loaded and carefully inspected. Tansy stayed close to Jalta and Bims, constantly talking to them. You're going home to a place where you can truly be free, she whispered. Jalta gently stroked her head as if understanding the importance of the moment. The farewell was emotional, a touching mix of tears and smiles. Convinced of her father's decision, Tansy waved until the trucks disappeared from sight, taking a significant part of her heart with them. The following years were a time of growth and learning for Tansy. She immersed herself in studying conservation, determined to continue her family's legacy. The longing for her gorilla friends never left her and the hope of seeing them again burned in her heart like an unquenchable fire. At the age of 23, driven by nostalgia, and the desire to check on Jalta and Bims's successful reintegration, Tansy organized an expedition to the remote jungle where they had been released. With a team of documentarians and biologists, she set off on the journey. After a long trip, they finally reached the jungle. Every smell and sound brought back vivid childhood memories. The next few days were spent diligently searching for the gorillas using radio collars. Then, one rainy afternoon as they walked through the jungle, a movement in the dense vegetation caught their attention. Hearts beat faster, cameras were ready, and all eyes were on Tansy. The tropical air, filled with the most wonderful scents, surrounded the travelers as they cautiously moved forward. Every sound seemed amplified. Tansy, leading the group, knew she wouldn't stop until she reached her goal. Her eyes scanned the surroundings, trying to spot any movement. Hours passed slowly and the sun shone brightly overhead. The local guide, a man named Akana, signaled everyone to be silent. They entered an area where a group of gorillas, possibly including Jalta and Bims, had recently been seen. Tansy felt a mix of excitement and nervousness. She knew the gorillas could have changed significantly after years in the jungle. They were no longer young animals playing in the reserve. They were now likely leaders of their groups wild and well-adapted to harsh conditions. 
Suddenly, Akana stopped and pointed to thick bushes from which low sounds and movement could be seen. Tansy's heart raced and she held her breath, camera ready. The bushes rustled more intensely, and then an enormous gorilla emerged. It took Tansy only a few seconds to recognize Bims by his gaze and posture. He stopped and looked directly at her. Their eyes met, and for a moment the world around them seemed to disappear. Tansy couldn't tell if Bims recognized her or was just curious about the people. The gorilla took a step forward. Tansy felt the tension among the team members, aware of the potential danger of an adult gorilla. Hoping the animal would recognize her, she took a step forward and quietly said, Bims, it's me, Tansy! Her voice trembled, but the gorilla definitely heard her. The animal tilted its head, observing her closely. The group held their breath, watching the silent exchange between human and gorilla. After a tense moment, Bims made a low sound, and Tansy instantly felt he recognized her. Ikana whispered to the group to stay calm and avoid sudden movements. Bims took another step forward and finally relaxed. Tansy hoped the gorilla no longer posed a threat. She took another step, and Bims approached even closer. Relief and joy flooded over her. The tension between them dissipated, and Bims made low sounds reminiscent of those from his childhood. Bims stopped a few steps away from Tansy and extended his hand, lightly touching her. Tansy overcame her fear and touched his hand in return. A smile appeared on her face and tears glistened in her eyes. Surprising everyone, Bims gently hugged Tansy. She hugged him back, overwhelmed with emotion. The long-awaited reunion was even more touching than she had imagined. The documentarians filmed every moment of this rare and beautiful scene. Tansy and Bim stood hugging for a long time. It was an incredible reunion that transcended species barriers, reaffirming the deep bond that had formed 12 years earlier. After the emotional reunion, Tansy spent several hours observing Bims and his group in the jungle. The team kept their distance to avoid stressing the gorillas. It was clear that Bims had become a respected leader, tenderly caring for his family. Watching her old friend in his natural habitat, Tansy gained a new understanding of the importance of her family's conservation work. It was living proof that efforts to return wild animals to their natural habitats could succeed. When evening came, Tansy knew it was time to say goodbye again. With a heavy heart, she approached Bims, knowing they would never see each other again. This time, there were no tears, only gratitude and satisfaction. She whispered her farewell, promising to continue the important work that had brought them together. Bim seemed to understand this was a farewell. With a gentle look and a soft touch, he returned to his family, disappearing into the jungle. Tansy returned to civilization, carrying memories of the reunion and a renewed passion for conservation. She was determined to follow in her father's footsteps, striving for a future where humans and animals could live in harmony. This reunion, captured in photos and video, became a symbol of the incredible bond between humans and animals and a compelling testament to the necessity of environmental conservation.